billion dollars worth of their pet projects because we didn't think taxpayer dollars needed to. We're going to move forward. And by the time I left, we were... Well, you know, I want to say this. When I see you, I think of all that we've been through and all that we accomplished together. Think when I became governor. We had 11% unemployment. We had thousands of people on welfare. And South Carolina was the butt of the jokes. And what did we do? We rallied. We hunkered down. And we said we weren't going to keep it this way. We were going to move forward. And by the time I left, we were building planes with Boeing. We were building more BMWs than any place in the world. We brought in Mercedes-Benz. We brought in Volvo. Five international tire companies, and they were referring to South Carolina as the beast of the Southeast, which I still love. <laughs> we moved that 11% down to 4%. We announced jobs in every county in the state. We paid down our debts, we cut taxes, we built up our coffers, we passed pension reform, we passed tort reform, but we also acknowledged some truths. We said if you have to show picture ID to buy Sudafed, if you have to show picture ID to get on a plane, you should have to show picture ID to protect the integrity of the election process. We passed voter ID in South Carolina. We passed one of the toughest illegal immigration laws in the country. President Obama sued us over it, and we won. We held our elected officials to account. We made them start showing their votes on the record instead of hiding them behind closed doors. We made them start showing you who pays them so that you could see exactly what was going on. We vetoed half a billion dollars worth of their pet projects because we didn't think taxpayer dollars needed to go to those. And when we got done in South Carolina, we were named the friendliest state in the country, the one I love, the most patriotic state in the country, and don't blame me for this one, the number two state in the country people were moving to. <laughs> and now we look at what's happening in our country, and it's tough to watch. We're $34 trillion in debt. We're having to borrow money just to make our interest payments. China owns some of that debt. And for the first time, we're paying more money in interest than we are in our defense budget. You know who pays attention to that? Russia, China, and Iran. We're incredibly vulnerable at this point. And I would love to tell you that Biden did that to us. And I've always spoken to you in hard truths, and I'm gonna do that with you today. But Trump and our Republicans did that to us too. Go back and look at that $2.2 trillion COVID stimulus bill that they passed with no accountability that's now left us with 80 million Americans on Medicaid, 42 million Americans on food stamps. That's a third of our country. And did Republicans try and make it right? Nope, they doubled down and opened up pet projects and earmarks for the first time in 10 years, pushing through 7,000 of them last year. If we are going to get back on track, we have got to get our economy back on track. So the first thing I think we need to do is put an accountant in the White House. I think that would make a big difference. And then start by clawing back the $100 billion of unspent COVID dollars that are still out there. Instead of 87,000 IRS agents, and don't blame me for this one, the number two state in the country, people, $34 trillion in debt. We're having to borrow money happening in our country and it's tough to watch we're South Carolina as the beast of the Southeast which I still love just to make our interest payments China owns some of that debt and for the few who pays them so that you could see exactly what was going on we vetoed half of Carolina was the butt of the jokes and what did we do we rallied we brought in Mercedes-Benz, we brought in Volvo, five international tire companies, and they were referring to a billion dollars worth of their pet projects because we didn't think taxpayer dollars needed to all that we've been through and all that we accomplished together.